Hi, this is your host Constant, and I'm going to show you how to use the espresso machine. It's a little intimidating at first, but after you do it a couple times, you'll see that it's really not all that difficult, and maybe a little easier than other methods. So this machine is set to come on at 5.30 and turn off again at 9.30. If you want it to come on again after that, then you just have to reach back here and press the little button that's on the wall outlet that has a blue light on it. And that'll get it going again. It takes a little while to heat up, about 20 minutes. You can tell when it's up to temperature when this says about 200 degrees. So the machine's nice and hot already, which it should be by the time you wake up. And to make an espresso shot, you just take the port filter out and you grind some beans into it. This grinder has a little button right here that'll start a cycled grind. I have the timer set so it takes about two grinds to fill this cup, which we'll do now. It is a little messy. So if you get grinds everywhere, I wouldn't be shocked. There's often some stuck in the spout, so I just give it a little tap to get the extra out. The next thing I do is I just smooth, smooth out the grind, or the grounds, to make them nice and even. Then I take the tamper, and I give it a nice, firm press. You can do it right on the counter, it's pretty hard. Then I just clean off the rim and stick it back in the machine. You just want to firm it up. You don't have to go crazy. Then you'll take your espresso cups. These have a little line on them to show you where to fill. Put them under the two spouts. And to start brewing, you're going to press this top button. It's got a little espresso cup on it. You have to press the button again for it to turn off. That is something that's easily overlooked. It's not that automatic. So I'll just get it started here. It should take about 30 seconds if I have the grind right. Looks pretty good. And you'll just let it go until it fills up to the line, or you know, pretty close, and press the switch again to turn it off. There you have it. You have made a double shot of espresso. So to get it ready for the next round, if you're like me, there's usually a few rounds, just take the porter filter out, knock it into the sink, clean it out with a little water, and then we'll just clean the screen off by pressing the top button again. That just puts a little water through it. Take the coffee towel, Give a little wipe, get any grinds that are stuck to the screen off. Just stick the porter filter back in. That way it stays nice and hot. That's how you get the best espresso when everything's nice and hot. This machine has a steam function with this little wand, but that's a pretty advanced technique, so unless you're really invested in steamed milk, I would probably just leave it alone. There's lots of videos online if you want to learn how to do it. And this machine is plenty capable. But there is half and half and sugar available so you can doctor it up how you want. And that's it. That's how you pull a double shot of espresso. Yum yum.